I'm not taking personal readings at this time. Please do not get scammed by people posing as me in the comments section. Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to my channel, Rosology. So today's reading is all about your next spiritual awakening. Me personally, I have been tracking these transits, and we have been deep diving um, through all these different moon phases and everything that's going on cosmically over on Patreon. And I've done a couple of readings like a Celtic cross spread, as well as even a pick an oracle uh, reading, just looking into the current transits. And for me, what keeps coming up is that the entire conscious collective is under a great deal of pressure right now because there's a lot of transformation. And so that kind of just tells me um, or alludes to me that there's a lot of spiritual awakenings on the horizon that a lot of us will be going through in the near future here i even mentioned over there i know some of you guys here on the video now are over on patreon and we were talking about a little bit uh, in the comments that like for me personally in my own life the last couple of months for me have been the most insane months that i've had in even the last like three or four years <laughs> it's been crazy but i did notice and pick up especially with the change in the in the nodes the north node moving into aries and south node in a libra i mentioned in one of the recent astrological um, analysis that that the next 18 months that the nodes transit Aries and Libra, it's going to feel like five years goes by and it's already the, the speed of time is already starting to accelerate um, a lot, especially in the cosmos. The cosmos are even reflecting that in a lot of ways. So I just wanted to look into what our next spiritual awakening is going to be about. Any sort of information that um, the universe and the most high allows me to tap into in terms of you guys' next spiritual awakening because the spiritual awakening is all about being awakened. So it's not about necessarily providing any answers which I don't do on my channel anyways you guys know this this is all about just reminding you of things that you already know so yeah we're just looking into the signs and repeating numbers angel numbers synchronicities that you guys may see right before your spiritual awakening um, we're gonna be looking into different life experiences that you may be going through right now or that you may go through right before your spiritual awakening we're gonna look into why you're going through these different awakenings what your inner child wants to tell you about or warn you about in terms of this uh, spiritual experience and also looking into some major revelations and realizations that you guys are going to be having, different things that's going to be healed within your own bloodline, your own lineage, your own karma through this next spiritual awakening. Awakening, We're looking into a lot of stuff. So that's what this reading is about. But anyways, let's just jump straight to the disclaimers and the meditation. I pray that you guys have been having a wonderful time that you've been doing good. And if not, hopefully this reading can bring you guys a little bit of peace or maybe some clarity today and just help to remind you of things that you already know and clear up some things that your spiritual team has been trying to tell you. So jumping into the disclaimers, obviously this is a general reading, meaning that it is going to resonate with who it is meant to resonate with. Tarot does not control or dictate your life. If you hear something that you don't like or agree with and think that you were just fixed to that reality, then you are not using my readings correctly. I conduct these readings for confirmation, not answers. And if you hear something for the first time, do not take that message without receiving confirmation from your higher self and spiritual team. Realize at the end of the day, you have the final say with your destiny. Your free will is your power and what you choose to do with it will determine your life outcomes, not a pick a card reading on YouTube. So please be responsible and accountable for your own actions and use this as a guide to help decipher the messages that your spiritual team has been trying to send you all along. For those of you that would like to participate in this meditation, again, this is a general reading for the collective. So in order for this reading to resonate with you, you have to be synced into the energy of this reading. To help you do that and to help you select a pile with your third eye, not your physical ones, I will be offering a 60 second meditation. Halfway into it, I will be placing crystals for clairvoyants that like to pick piles with objects on them. And after the clairvoyant pile selection, there will be a clear audience selection where I play a different tone for each pile and you can select a pile based off of which tone resonates with you the most. If you're drawn to another pile, it's because there is another message for you in that pile. So if you're ready, get into a relaxed position, become aware of your entire body, starting with your feet and working that awareness up in sections from the feet to the head. Then take a deep breath in through your nose for around five seconds, hold that breath for three seconds, and then exhale for six to seven seconds. Then ask your guides, spirit, ancestors, universe, or all of them to connect you to your higher self so you can receive confirming messages about the next spiritual awakening that you are due for. So this is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four.
on pile one, I believe is an obsidian pendulum. On pile two is a copper pendulum. On pile three is an opalite pendulum. On pile four is a citrine pendulum. Welcome to your reading. So uh, we're starting off your tarot cards to check out your next spiritual awakening. So the card on the left will be showing me what you are experiencing right now in your life that is currently leading you to your next awakening. And then the card on the right will be a message pretty much from spirit about how to get through this time right now, as well as even the next spiritual awakening. And then we'll pull some additional Oracle cards. So let's get started. What you may be experiencing right now that is leading you to your next spiritual awakening awakening we have here the card of completion which is the world and then as a message we have here the ten of pentacles So starting off with completion, which is the world card over here, the final major arcana card in the fool's journey is all about perspective when we're dealing with card 21. And the fool reaches the final card where he has this bird's eye view of himself and how every experience he had throughout the major arcana led him to where he is. So for you, pile one, what I'm picking up that you guys may be going through right now is a total shift in perspective. World card is all about res resolution and closure. Your next spiritual awakening has been in the works for a very long time. And let me also say when this awakening happens for you, 
no matter how many of these spiritual experiences that you have been through, when this happens for you, it'll feel like the first time you've ever had a spiritual awakening. Because after the world card, we start all over again with the full card, the very first card in the major arcana. So the enlightenment that you're about to come into, if it has not happened already, it will feel like a rebirth. There will be a major revelation that just strikes you in a very quiet moment. And this awakening for you is meant to feel like an accomplishment or a better yet fulfillment like there is an entire book or door that has been closed and you're free of the past that you have walked you're just you're done with it you are um, elevated from it and the past that has defined you this finalization is so permanent that you actually end up feeling free of your past like it was a whole nother life and you know how we can look back on certain relationships or jobs or experiences or even chapters in our own life and be like oh my god it feels like this happened a hundred years ago we have another completion card here with the ten of pentacles and so this marks the end of the pip cards in the major and the minor arcana before graduating to the court cards and the ten of pentacles it talks about generational succession or accomplishment so your next spiritual awakening will have a very deep impact on your biological lineage as well whether you have kids or not there will be a spiritual ripple effect that goes beyond you because of this closing of a major chapter for you that you've had to carefully walk one step at a time you've had to be patient you were not allowed to speed past any of it and now it's like it's finally here and you will feel your past physically leave your body when this awakening happens you will actually feel feel lighter like you were not caring so much anymore and this ten of pentacles even the world card could be saying that there was an was ancestral work being completed here as well with this next spiritual awakening so there may even be closure for some of you guys in this pile when it comes to your family especially with this ten of pentacles here which usually features a couple generations of one family on this card in the rws version and so the point is is that this completion will spill over into your family or your bloodline even your spiritual family people that your soul has bonded with like let's say two friends have a falling out even though they truly loved each other at some point the reason we, we still carry that hurt pain or resentment and trauma is because our soul is still connected to that individual and when we truly release that experience their soul is freed as well and you'll be able to feel that because the both of you won't pull in each other's energy anymore you'll be able to move on without it being a part of this new story that you guys are currently writing so for sure your next spiritual awakening has everything to do um with a, a closure it's and it's just again it's going to feel like it's going to feel like the first time you have ever had um a spiritual awakening it's going to feel like um a kundalini rising or like you know this really enlightening period for you where you just realize something and things really get put into perspective because that's another thing that the world card represents too is it's the world so this is all about uh the fool being able to see the world from a, a bird's eye point of view from this third person point of view from this detached point of view so you're going to be able to look back on your past everywhere that you have come from and see it from this detached point of view like you were like reading another person's like autobiography or something is what it's going to feel like for you so this is just total and complete closure um that your next spiritual awakening is really going to revolve around in a lot of ways and that's why it may feel as though you are awakening out of um, a past chapter in your life so first off let's grab some angel numbers to see what sort of repeating numbers you guys may see right before the spiritual awakening happens for you so we have here one two three four so just any sort of um numbers in, in progression so like four five six or seven eight nine or eleven twelve thirteen something like that but we have one two three four sign of progression things align for a new spiritual journey exactly this is the closing of that of that book or of that chapter for you guys with completion here and the ten of pentacles and then underneath the deck here we have 1616 16 or 16 six, and this is a sign of willpower focus on strengths and determination so focus on strength and determination when it comes to starting this new chapter um, so when it comes to because we have sign of progression and sign of willpower so this is all about you guys like leaning on your willpower in order to progress to keep progressing to the next step and to keep because sometimes new beginnings like as fun as they may be they can be a little bit difficult because it's, it's such a change in pace so these angel numbers that you guys start seeing um repeatedly whether they are one two three four or sixteen sixteen you could be saying 222 all the time or 1111 or 555 it doesn't matter i'm just pulling cards and messages related to any sort of repeating numbers that you guys may keep coming across and what they could mean and what they're going to mean is to rely on your willpower to get you through these next steps when it comes to transitioning into this new phase in your life okay
Let's see what sort of themes this spiritual awakening could revolve around for pile one. We have here gratitude, you guys may, and pride underneath the deck. So gratitude, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. And pride says, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So you guys, when you are going through the spiritual awakening, you guys may have a lot of gratitude. That's what may happen. You guys may realize like, wow, I have the most beautiful life or I love where I'm at or I love where I'm headed or I love where I, I come from. You guys may have a new sense of gratitude for who you are, for your, your own self, for your body, for your life, for the people in your life, for your job, for your home, for everything. It just may be this newfound sense of gratitude and it's going to lead you into a sense of pride, which says, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So you guys are going to be very proud of who you are and where you come from when it comes to this next spiritual awakening. Um, awakening that you guys will be going through pretty soon. So this enlightenment is going to help you guys see the pride that the life that you are living grants you and blesses you with. And let's see what sort of realizations you guys will be having here. Okay, so we have um, Lime, which is gratitude, and underneath the deck we have digestive processing. So Lime gratitude says, trigger statement, I'm overwhelmed. True statement, I am moving. Again, like it says, sign of progression down here. The time for planning is complete. Uh, just like completion, take action, no matter how small, begin today. So start today. Whatever it is that this, this new chapter, new life that you want to walk into is or looks like for you, just start. Even if it's even if it's just, you know, these really small steps that you're taking, just start taking them um, because it's going to translate as a sense of, and wait, this is the card of gratitude too. I didn't even notice that. Lime is a card of gratitude. And then we have gratitude here that came out for you before. So this is gratitude coming through twice. So you guys are going to be making these, these steps um, towards progress because you were just so you're so appreciative of where you're at and you're and you're also appreciative of where you are going so you guys are going to have this newfound like excitement when it comes to the future and everything that um you are building towards in the future so start even today no matter how you know small that step may be just start today in terms of like bringing your future into fruition and then digestive underneath the deck uh, the card of processing trigger statement I'm so worried true statement I have the solution slowing down and listening to your inner voice will provide you with the direction and purpose so this is you guys being able to slow down as you are transitioning into this new phase this new chapter in your life when you guys kind of slow down the solutions the clarity the answers will come to you in terms of how to progress in terms of how to move forward in terms of what the next step may be because now we have like what two cards here three cards talking about movement and progression so you guys are definitely transitioning into a place right now where there's going to seem like there's a lot more developments a lot more movement a lot more progress than maybe what you're used to seeing let's grab a card from your inner child because i believe that when we have spiritual awakenings it's basically just um reminders of things that we already knew it's just us kind of reconnecting to certain things that we we already knew especially as a child and so let's see what your inner child wants to say to you we have here breathe in and then underneath the deck we have let go and so breathe in here says our breath responds to what we are feeling and experiencing throughout our day practice taking deep full breaths at a normal pace once you have a rhythm breathe at this pace as you go about your day checking in on yourself periodically deep breathing can help us navigate stressful events bring relaxation and peace so this is about breathing through these changes breathing through um the next step all the steps that you're taking being able to kind of slowly make your way to this kind of like this new chapter because like i said with completion in the world card down here this marks a kind of the ending of of a major journey or a major like chapter in your life like it's such a big chapter that it's like a book <laughs> and that's why i was saying like with um the world card of completion down here this is kind of like looking back on like an old job that we used to have or an older relationship and be like oh my god that feels like that happened a whole lifetime ago or hundreds of years ago like some some of those experiences can feel like it was a different life and that's what this is going to feel like for you guys so this is about just making that transition in a, in a pace that you're comfortable with and then we have here let go it is now time to let go of all that no longer serves you this is that completion card free the pent-up energy inside of you and imagine it leaving your body as you breathe deeply forgive disappointments and pains do not allow bitterness in let go of control and allow for that which needs to die to die so that you may blossom once more
All right, let's see if there's any specific signs that will pop up in terms of um, that you guys may keep noticing or seeing right before this next spiritual awakening. We have here clouds distractions. So you guys may notice certain symbols, messages, information in the clouds, but also um, with this being clouds distractions, you guys may notice um, a lot of distractions or things trying to distract you, things trying to get in the way. Like for instance, you guys may be like, you know what, I'm gonna start meditating again. And every time you try to meditate, it's like your phone goes off or somebody calls your name or um, you're needed somewhere. You know that you may just notice these really unnecessary demands so watch out for that right before your next spiritual awakening and then underneath the deck here we have smiley face joy so you guys may see like a lot of smiley faces or just images of that um, if there's any kids in your life you may notice that they hand you like a drawing where it's like um, a person smiling or a smiley face on it you guys may get a lot of emojis like that or notice a lot of emojis like that you may even notice as well that you guys just feel a lot of joy right before the spiritual awakening happens a lot of again gratitude gratitude came out twice you guys may just notice that there's just this feeling of joy and gratitude in your heart and appreciation and pride where you guys are just so thankful for where you've come from thankful for where you are and thankful for where you are going so these may be two very serious kind of like um, signs that you guys keep noticing or experiencing right before the next spiritual awakening and let's see what is being healed during this next spiritual awakening for you we have here just transformation and underneath the deck we have home so i'm going to read transformation out of the book transformation says after the rain comes the sun after the caterpillar comes the butterfly the situation you're inquiring about is somehow acting as a catalyst for a major transformation yeah with this completion card it says if you find yourself questioning or having regrets don't try not to second guess yourself or beat yourself up nothing happens that is not supposed to many of your issues and situations are not anything to be upset about they are path to wholeness that's why you guys are going to feel all that gratitude and pride and it says you are the one who infuses drama and chaos into the situation you are always given opportunities to grow and learn growth and learning very rarely come about when everything stays status quo and just as you think they should be thankful you have this wonderful opportunity to transform and heal to a better and higher state of vibration and home over here i'm also going to read this one says this card represents a homecoming of the soul or finding your tribe of coming home the situation you're inquiring about has the potential to be a homecoming this is that completion a safe and secure place that both nourishes you and facilitates your growth whether it be a school a relationship a job or truly a home go for it all paths all paths lead home home doesn't have to be where you grew up family doesn't always mean the people of your birth family look at an expanded meaning family are people who share the same core values and path home can mean a place that you have yet to visit or experience but once there it feeds your soul in a way that gives you no doubt that you are home alternately find your safe place this is where the answers you seek will be found this kind of sounds a bit like your um digestive card over here just every time you sit still you feel a sense of kind of like solutions and clarity coming in or just feel feeling like you are are exactly where you're meant to be with this home card but i'm not going to keep it out i just wanted to read it for you guys and finally a message for you pile one in terms of your next spiritual awakening and so we have here the law of perfect health listen to the divine guidance within your body so I'll read this out of the book and underneath the deck we have the law of secondary causation. Stop reacting and start being the person you have always desired to be. So this is, these are two messages from your next spiritual awakening. So one second. The law of perfect health here, Awaken the Oracle Within says, by drawing this card it indicates for you to have a new perspective on dis-ease. Just like I was saying with um, completion and the world card down here, um, it represents like a new perspective or a bird's eye view. But it says your higher self desires for you to know the perfection and blessing of all symptoms. They are a wake up call to align with your truth, mother nature and the universal law. Within you is an innate healer. The body is born with intelligence capable of restoring harmony, well-being and vibrant vitality. This message is a divine sign telling you it is time to consider cleansing your body and freeing it up from toxins to restore wellness journal and action says go into meditation and communicate with your body ask your body what do you need from me to assist you in rejuvenating ask what would you like to communicate to me now send gratitude to your body for the miracle that is 
And the law of secondary causation says, awaken the oracle within. It is time to stop creating from a consciousness that is in a reactive state or from the past. This is that completion card. You always have a choice to create something new. Doing your inner emotional trauma work will free you from repetitively projecting your BS, which is belief systems, onto every situation in person. You must learn to exhale between the stimulus of life and harness your response ability it says you must learn to exhale between the stimulus of life and then we have the breathe in card here from your um, inner child message and then journal and action says imagine how you would create your life if you did not have a past or any of your current circumstances like i said you guys are going to be free of your past after this next spiritual awakening then it says take out a blank piece of paper and begin to write your new life into existence just like this gratitude card over here says with lime the time for planning is complete take action no matter how small begin today and you guys pile one. This is all that I'm seeing in terms of your next spiritual awakening, what you guys can expect, what it's all about. Thank you for tuning in. Let me take this time to thank your guides, my guides, our higher self, and amazing spirit for these messages. Hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon. And until next time, stay safe, healthy, blessed, and keep conquering the world. Bye, guys. Pile two, welcome to your reading. So we are starting off with your tarot cards to check out your next spiritual awakening that you are due for. So the card on the left will be showing me what you are experiencing right now in your life that is currently leading you to your next spiritual awakening. And then the card on the right will be a little bit more of like context behind that situation, as well as some messages from the higher realms. And then we'll pull additional oral cards oracle cards um, after looking to your tarot cards. The very first tarot card that we have for you is the sun. And then we have the ten of swords. Okay, there is such a contradiction here between these two cards because you have the happiest card in tarot, which is the sun, and then the most dismal, which is the ten of swords. So these two cards showing up together in a reading like this, looking into your next spiritual awakening, I have to say, this looks like someone with high hopes. Nearly like every situation that they go into, every person they meet or connect with, there is this benefit of the doubt that you may give people pretty liberally. You refuse to let past disappointments sour new opportunities with with potential and I can see that clearly because of what the Sun card represents it's one of the final cards in the major arcana we start off as this grown man which is the fool and in one of the final stages of his journey he catches a hard case of Benjamin Button and regresses back to the age of a child right and it's not because he's aging backwards but the Sun represents the fool's resilience inner strength and ability to always look on the bright side no matter what he has been through he doesn't allow any of his experiences throughout the major arcana to keep him from reconnecting to his inner child and we all know as adults it can be difficult almost brutal to reconnect to our inner child when the world and life has tried so hard to make us cynical we all too often lose touch with our own innocence and joy but you pile to for this card to show up says that you have this irrepressible spirit you are human ten of swords over here meaning that you may have been hurt, you are susceptible to pain and heartbreak. So you may have been hurt very many times before, more times than you care to count, but you are far from fragile and your spirit is strong, is durable, it's adaptable in spite of everything you have gone through. And you have a lot of reasons to look at life like this 10 of swords over here. You have many reasons maybe not to get out of bed or to be angry or to take out your pain on other people or to just close up and not give anyone a chance and to keep your Yourself from potential happiness but you keep taking these swords and getting back up with the sun you keep taking these risks no matter how it turns out no matter if it turns out like the sun just ultimate joy and happiness or the ten of swords you know just really bad heartbreak or pain or even betrayal and so your next spiritual awakening is an odd one but it is coming through as contentment finally coming across someone or something or some sort of situation or experience who does not let you down because as I was saying before you guys give the benefit of the doubt especially to new situations and people you refuse to you know you give everyone a chance to prove themselves you do not predefine anyone based off of your own past experiences so when they let you down it's like a brand new sword goes right into your energetic body and it hurts every time every time it's like a brand new pain or a brand new betrayal 
betrayal. You never get used to this pain because you have not become callous to it. And the reason that you don't expect people to hurt you with as many times as you have been hurt is because you haven't given up on yourself and you haven't given up on your happiness with the sun and the joy that you know you deserve in your heart and spirit. So do not stop looking for that perfect place, person, situation, job, purpose, time, manifestation, whatever it may be. Do not stop searching for it, pile two. Do not stop being hopeful because you will have it. You will find it. Even when you are down, ten of swords, because you have taken another heartbreak, there is something in you and a strong spiritual presence around you. Could even be a loved one on the other side for some of you um, that will not allow you to give up. And you may have wanted to stop looking to just accept that you'll always be disappointed because it's easier to just keep yourself in that disappointed sort of mindset or frequency versus to go through, you know, being hopeful and then get, getting your hopes up. But this next spiritual awakening for you is coming through as a promise the spirit made to you before you were born to find your real family, your real community, a real soulmate, a real love, real friends, a real profession. You were promised true happiness. In other words, pile two, wherever you are looking for it, it could even be in several areas with the 10 of swords here. But this spiritual awakening that you are being led to is a place where you can stop looking sun and just be in your inner sense and be in your peace and be present it's a very peaceful phase that you are about to enter into and it'll be something that you can trust and rely on and this amount of joy is going to awaken or enlighten you in a, on a spiritual level because you are going to watch this promise be fulfilled and it's like your heart is finally going to be able to rest because it's like i found it i've reached my destination i've reached my point and I'm here and you guys in this pile pile too, you know how to rest. You know, a lot of us like we keep kind of looking for something even after we get what we want. We keep kind of yearning or looking or longing for something or desiring um, even more. You know, it's almost like a state of greediness that, that a lot of us could be in. Um, but for you pile too, it's like once you get something that you're happy with or that you've always wanted, like you're good. You rest there. You're at peace with it. And these are the types of hearts that always end up finding what they are meant to find and what they are meant to have because they know what true peace is. They know what the true definition of it is and they know how to allow peace to just be. They know how to allow a beautiful moment and a beautiful experience in and not to look elsewhere or not to look for more or not to expect more, but to be right there in the moment. So let's start grabbing some oracle cards we're going to start with some angel numbers here to see if there's any sort of repeating numbers that you guys may see right before your next spiritual awakening we have here five five sign of positive change things are shifting into a positive light exactly this is that sun card right here like i was saying you guys are going to actually end up fight. your next spiritual awakening is all about contentment sign of positive change that things are shifting into a positive light and then we have two three three two sign to pursue your passion time to pursue what you want most in life sun card energy again so you guys may actually see repeating twos or threes or repeating fives or even if you're just seeing numbers like 10 10 333 3, 3, it doesn't matter i just wanted to pull some cards to see if you are seeing repeating numbers what the, their messages could be um but their messages for you are you guys are going to be pursuing your passion through this next spiritual awakening and also um, that these repeating numbers are trying to tell you that your next spiritual awakening is a sign of very positive change coming into your life a lot of joy coming into your life with the sun card here and also because there's a child in the sun card if some of you have been wanting to start a family or um, anything like that that could be something that ends up happening in terms of some sort of positive developments in the near future here with the sun card let's see what themes your next spiritual awakening may revolve around here we have guilt and forgiveness underneath the deck here we have judgment so with guilt it says i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth and then forgiveness says i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love so you guys are you you forgive you easily forgive things that have hurt you with this ten of swords like what we were talking about and then with guilt it says i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth like i was saying or like i picked up with you guys with your tarot cards down here is like you guys refuse to allow your past to sort of predetermine your future you don't allow your past to be like this marker that has the ability to shape your present and your future so with your next spiritual awakening it will revolve around any sort of feelings that you may be harboring in terms of guilt or forgiveness 
forgiveness. If you guys need to forgive any other, um, any past pains, or if you need to forgive yourself for any past pains, maybe you look at yourself as like, why did I allow that person back in? Or why did I allow this to happen? It ended up hurting me. I knew, you know, I, I saw some red flags and I still allowed it in. If there's any sort of, um, you know, kind of like thoughts circulating like that, then this next spiritual awakening is going to help you guys forgive yourself and forgive any sort of past pains, whether they were caused by another person or not, and any sort of guilt that you guys may be holding on to as well. Because like I was saying, some of you guys, you may feel guilty as though like, if I wouldn't have trusted this or that person, I wouldn't have gotten hurt. So there is some sort of guilt here that you guys need to release or some forgiveness that you may need to grant yourself or grant someone else or grant the past. Um, so you can allow yourself to to move back into this sun space and allow that positive change to start coming in judgment is underneath the deck here it says i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges so there definitely could be somebody from your past that has hurt you that maybe you're still judging and you have every right to judge if they have definitely hurt you you know so it's like that's only the human part of us that goes you know that person hurt me like i still feel a certain type of way so with your next spiritual um awakening that you guys have you may realize that that like you know what me judging this person it's only it's only causing like weight in my own life. It's only causing me to feel bogged down energetically and spiritually. I need to release that judgment. I need to forgive. I need to release this guilt that I may be carrying about my own self in terms of I should have listened to the red flags or I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done that. And that's a, a lot of what your next spiritual awakening is going to revolve around. And then we have two very orange cards here. So this may be saying that guilt and forgiveness is something that you guys have been holding on to in your, um, your sacral chakra. And that's right above the root chakra so this is why you guys are going to be getting back to a place where it's easier for you to trust and then open back up again kind of like your own natural process like I was saying with just your tarot cards down here seems like you guys like even with as many times as you as you have gotten hurt you're still able to at some point open back up again and allow yourself to you know see where the future is going to take you no matter if it takes you somewhere that you're really happy with or you know maybe there's some regrets there you guys are still open um to potential you're still open to your future let's see what sort of signs you guys may see right before your next spiritual awakening and we have here fence boundaries wow and then underneath the deck we have hello again recycle recover <laughs> wow so with recycle and boundaries say less okay so basically with um <laughs> with recycle and with boundaries over here um the signs that you guys may be seeing right before your next spiritual awakening is you guys may be you guys may be in a state where you have shifted to i need more boundaries in my life because this this is going to be a result of the forgiveness that you guys have worked to achieve in your life and releasing that guilt so but right before your next spiritual awakening you guys may actually have the opportunity somebody from your past or some sort of past situation that may have hurt you before they may try to come back into your life and maybe even recycle some sort of old experiences um so they may try to reconnect again with recycle and recover they may try to recover the relationship or recover the past with you and you guys are going to feel in your spirit like no I need to have boundaries here because I've already gone through the process of forgiving myself for allowing things in or ignoring certain red flags I've had to go through releasing the guilt that I harbored because I got hurt by someone or something else and because you guys have gone through that process step by step you naturally create this system of boundaries that protects you mentally emotionally and spiritually and this is why right before your next spiritual awakening you may notice that you start saying no or you actually you know tell somebody from your past this isn't going to work for me or I'm not open to that or I'm not available you may not even return their calls or um you know return their advances to reconnect in some way so you guys may notice opportunities where you have to exercise your boundaries and you may notice opportunities to reconnect to something from your past and even if you decide to reconnect to someone or something from your past you may notice that you're like I need new boundaries now that we are trying to work things out you know because we don't have to give people the stiff arm forever everybody's situation is unique and different and what works for one person might not work for the next person so whether you allow something back in or not you guys are going to notice that you have a whole new system of boundaries set in place to protect yourself and these are going to be some surefire signs that your next spiritual awakening is right around the corner let's see what realizations you guys may have during your next spiritual awakening 
we have here dill clearing yeah this is that forgiveness and guilt and underneath the deck we have Mal Mal i can never pronounce this malay luca i don't know evolution so dill clearing says trigger statement none of this matters choose statement i'm clear feel as any external energy is cleared from you and your space you are energetically pure and can focus on the task at hand this is totally that forgiveness card right here even fence boundaries and then we have whatever this is <laughs> the card of evolution trigger statement things will never change true statement i attract only what is for my highest good the imbalances in relationships oh so there could have been some sort of imbalances or and and even imbalanced relationships that may be trying to recycle or recover the same kind of like connection with you in the future right before your next spiritual awakening but it says the imbalances in relationships that have been keeping you down are no longer needed you are ready to transform this is that boundaries fence boundaries card right here because the ten of swords i've been hurt too many times i know exactly how to handle this now i know exactly how to protect myself now because of this ten of swords and this may be also why too you guys are led into this place of the sun where it's like i don't even feel on edge i don't feel like i have to like be on the defensive i don't feel like i have to be i don't feel like i have to be reserved no i can be as wild and as free as this baby on horseback you know because my boundaries are doing the work for me because that's what boundaries are supposed to do they're not supposed to be something that we patrol 24 7. if so then our boundaries are not set up correctly because expectations is more so something that you have to be on top of all the time which is why i say all the time expectations are great boundaries are way better because bound your boundaries will work for you it's like a business is just going to keep producing money for you because your boundaries it's like it's it's exactly like a fence like no matter what this fence is here this this line of territory is here and i've already told you not to cross that and so it's like you really don't have to do anything unless that line is crossed and if that line is crossed you already have different ways of responding that that's in place for you that you can already just tap into without thinking too much into it without spending too much energy in well how do i handle this because they cross that boundary that's kind of something that we have to do with expectations well how do i handle this because they're not meeting my expectations boundaries is going to handle all that for you so we exert way less ener energy when we have um you know really good healthy boundaries in place all right, pile two, let's grab some messages from your inner child, because I believe every time we go through a spiritual awakening, it kind of helps reconnect us back to our inner child and just things that we've already known or came into this life already knowing. And because you have the sun here as well, um, you know, the sun is all about to uh, the inner child. So we have here, it is time to give and then I am underneath the deck. And so it is time to give says it is time to treat yourself and or others to something magical, mystical and fantastical. What the tree consists of is not as important as the spirit in which it is enjoyed. When thinking of the perfect something, reflect on how it would make you feel. Does it connect you to your feelings of wonder and joy? If so, you've got a winner. This is that sun card right here. How can you connect with joy pile two? This is a message from your inner child. And another one is, I am. I am safe. I am supported. I am worthy. I am unique. I am honest. I am true. I am abundant. I am present. I am strong. I am open. I am wise. I am cared for. I am good. And I am accepted. And I belong. Now is the time to practice affirmations. Know that you are and speak the words that you need to hear over yourself now. And this is really also going to help um, you guys get through the process, too, of purification or clearing like this Dill card talk about and the forgiveness and the guilt over here and kind of um it'll also help too uh when it comes to creating any sort of boundaries or structure that you guys may need in a certain part of your life right now and let's see what the your next spiritual awakening will be healing for you something flip over okay now so we have here new beginnings and then underneath the deck here we have death I'm going to read new beginnings out of the book and new beginning says water emotion energy all life affirming and life giving patience is the key once the deluge of emotion passes you will see that left in its wake is a wondrous new day a rainbow of possibilities do not get attached to the emotions that surround the situation this will only attach your identification with the emotion itself this is that ten of swords forgiveness and guilt over here as well as even um clearing and it, and even boundaries over here um and it says this will only attach your identification with the emotion itself giving it more power and hindering the release so that the door to your new beginning will not open sit in the emotion 
cry, journal, talk it out with a friend, and then let it go. Perform a ritual if you are called to one. Place your feelings on a bit of paper and let it go, whether through whether through water or fire, both excellent transmuting elements. Be thankful for the experience of the situation and proclaim to creator that you are ready for the newness that is about to come into your life. Like I said, this is sort of like that cycle that you guys go through where it's like, okay, I've been hurt with the 10 of swords. And then once you go through that pain, once you process it, you come back to this sun card place. That could also be what your recycle card is talking about, how you guys are just able to recycle yourself through certain experiences and even recover because recycle says here, it's the card of recover or recovery so it's like you guys are able to recover yourself um after going through tennis words experiences and then death card says death is scary endings whether they are planned or a surprise are most often accompanied with a sense of anxiety unease or more strongly with denial and refusal to let go of the person relationship or situation that is ending endings always signify beginnings as in the new beginnings card which you guys did get the new beginnings over here this card death urges you to let go gracefully do not attach yourself to the emotions and the energy of what is ending ten of swords feel it experience it and then let it go a slight shift in perspective is sometimes all that is needed to experience this transition with grace and ease instead of thinking oh no i have to start all over shift your perspective slightly and think yay i get to start all over like the sun card over here the shift will raise your energetic vibrations and carry you through this time of change this card can also signify the ending of a troublesome situation so this is another thing that your spiritual awakening is healing is a trouble is a troublesome situation and also you guys as energetic vibrations like it says a shift will raise your energetic vibe vibe um so you guys going through so you guys going through this next spiritual awakening is also going to increase your energetic frequency as well with the sun card over here like i said it's the happiest card in tarot so this is you guys being able to transition to a place where you are experiencing a lot more happiness in your own life and then a final card from your next spiritual awakening pile two we have the law, the law of correspondence. See, life is the ultimate mirror guiding you to the highest version of yourself. And then the law of oneness. Release the need to make anyone wrong and unify with your truth. And underneath the deck here, we have the law of pure potential. Open your mind to all possibilities and allow yourself to receive everything. And the oracle within about the law of correspondence says you are ready to awaken it is time to release all feelings of being the victim of life this is that guilt and forgiveness card down here and realize your infinite power your experience of life is the outpicturing and reflection of your beliefs by drawing this card you are ready to identify your limiting beliefs so that you can release them this is totally that ten of swords it says as you advance in your spiritual awakening everything will be magnified to give you clarity to spot your limiting beliefs keep the faith you are going through a quantum shift and miracle are in the making now you will see life as the ultimate mirror guiding you to the highest version of yourself remember so what you wish to reap here we go journal and action here says sit in front of a mirror and ask yourself the following question who am i take time to reflect contemplate and meditate on this internal inquiry and may the truth set you free so this next spiritual awakening is leading you guys to the highest version of yourself where um again like i said your spiritual awakening is everything to do with contentment joy you guys finally experiencing the sun and being able to rest and stay within the sun and so yeah this is definitely the law of correspondence here just basically you guys being able to mirror um internally out into your external environment that you guys want to experience the sun joy and peace in your external environment as well and then the law of oneness i also wanted to read this it says release all thoughts of being separate and divided let go of reacting pushing people away and making anyone wrong it is time to shift perspective and focus on the actual essence of who you are you are a divine and spiritual being capable of creating a life you love this is that sun card it says by drawing this card it indicates that you may be yearning for love and connection your higher self desires to heal any feelings of sadness or loneliness the universe is inviting you to practice perceiving everyone is the miracle that they are however this does not mean that you should remain in dysfunctional situations or relationships that do not serve your highest good this is totally that boundaries card right here and then it says um this card is a sign for you to unify your heart and mind journal and action says where are you experiencing failed expectations from people or life like what i was 
talking about the difference between expectations and boundaries. And then it says, begin to accept people, places, and things as they are and courageously take a stand for what you want to create in this lifetime. This is totally that boundaries card over here. But pile two, this is all that I'm saying for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Let me take this time to thank your guys, my guys, our higher self, and amazing spirit for these messages. Hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon. And until next time, stay safe, healthy, blessed, and keep conquering the world. Bye. All right, pile three welcome to your reading so we are starting off with your tarot cards down here to check out what is your next spiritual awakening so the card on the left will be showing me what you are experiencing right now in your life that is leading you to your next spiritual awakening and the card on the right will just be giving me some additional context as well as even messages from the higher realms concerning your next spiritual awakening and what you need to know about it then we'll pull some additional oracle cards later on so the very first card that we have is the high priestess in reverse And then we have judgment also in reverse. All right, pile three. I think I already know what's going on with you if you've intuitively selected this pile. This is why I like reading reversals because it always gives like a little extra seasoning to the message <laughs> just so I can um, kind of get a feel for the cards here. Um, but High Priestess Upright is all about inner knowledge and wisdom. She rules discernment. So in reverse, this is talking about a lack of insight somewhere in your life. Judgment talks about souls passing on to the other side. In reverse, that process is blocked or hindered by something. So you may feel like you cannot move on from something because you have limited knowledge. And this could be another person that you can sense with the High Priestess in reverse here that they are maybe hiding something from you. This could be some of you knowing that you are hiding something from other people in your life. Maybe you feel like you are not being upfront about something. Maybe you're being extra private right now. You could feel misunderstood, misjudged, prejudged, or this could be a case where right now overall with life in general where you just feel completely and utterly lost. You may have been praying or asking for signs, answers, or clarity and have received nothing with the high priestess in reverse because again, she represents intuition being ruled by the moon who in astrology is regarded as the mother. And so this is all about our root and the root corresponds to your core or your soul. And when it comes to the soul, the soul speaks through the intuition. That's how it communicates with us um, as we are living like this multidimensional experience. So you guys may feel as though there's some sort of blockage when it comes to connecting to your own soul, connecting to your own core, connecting to your own truth. You may be in a position right now where you cannot make a decision or you cannot move on without certain strings being attached that you don't want to be attached to anymore. There's a lot of frustration that I'm kind of picking up with these cards because it feels like there's no sign pointing you in either direction. Like you were just left to figure something out with little to no information and the information that you do have, maybe it seems murky or muddy or like, or very like vague and ambiguous. So your next spiritual awakening is coming from this place exactly where it may feel like someone turned all the lights off in your life. If you have ever been caught outside at night like especially in a wooded area before the sun totally sets it starts to get extremely dark I remember my ass almost got caught up one time I was outside jogging just trying to be you know all up in nature and everything and it the sun just it started setting so fast and I was like all the way on the other side from like the entrance to the park and <laughs> That might have been the fastest I ever ran in my, <laughs> in my whole life because I'm just thinking in my head like serial killers come out in the woods at night like my, my brain went everywhere. But anyways, if you've ever been outside like that, you know, the sun sets really quickly and it starts to get super dark and it just becomes easier and easier to lose your way back to where you came from. Right. So you may feel like the sun won't rise or like the lights won't come back on with high priestess in reverse or like it's very difficult to connect to your own light or your own soul soul or in other words like you will always be left with questions and no answers some of you may resonate um, or feel like a light worker here on planet earth if so and you caught my previous reading right before this one I did messages channeled for light workers there may be something in that reading as well if you haven't seen it already that can also provide you with some additional messages in terms of what you are going through right now because something about this high priestess in reverse judgment judgment in reverse it just feels um, like you guys feel like your light is cut off or like you're just in the dark in general. Or in other words, you may feel like you will always be left with questions and no answers. You could feel abandoned ev even right now by people or the spirit realm. And this will be frustrating to hear, but this is where the most powerful, powerful awakenings happen. 
if you don't want to hear that, I hear you and I get it because I've been in some dark places and the darkest place I've ever been in. It lasted for almost three years of my life. I progressively became more and more lost, less and less recognizable to myself. And I totally thought all hope was lost. In fact, like I knew it was and no one could have told me otherwise. I kind of didn't want to think that there was any hope. And I don't have a list of things for you to do, unfortunately, to pull yourself out of this place. I wish I did. And I don't think anybody can offer those answers because only you can. And at the end of the day, the universe and the most high gives us enough power to see ourselves through any and everything. It never puts more on us than we can bear. And it may feel like we we break when we're going through certain things, but that's because certain things are supposed to be broken away from our path because it has expired. It has served its purpose. It's time for us to graduate and move on the way that a snake sheds its skin or like a hermit crab gets rid of one shell and then it moves on to a new home. And this is what we do throughout life. We grow out of things and it's difficult. Some things that we grow out of, it literally feels like life is over because we didn't want to grow out of that space. And that may be what you guys are kind of going through right now. That's what it feels like a little bit here where it's just like, I, I was good there. I don't really want to come out of this space. I don't know why um, things are so dark right now. You know, I don't know why you may feel as though you don't deserve for things to be as dark as they are right now, for you to be going through what you're going through right now with judgment and reverse. And you guys just don't understand it. You can't connect the dots. You don't know what you did to warrant this sort of situation with the high priestess in reverse. And you're really looking for those answers. But like I said, I and, and me personally, I don't believe me or anybody else on this planet can give you answers that you don't already have. Maybe other people in other situations can remind you of things that you already know, which is what my channel is all about. I never want to present myself in this way to anybody as though I've got all your answers because I damn sure don't. And I will never get up here and lie and pretend like I do. I don't believe in that. I believe that every single person in being here manifested their soul here because we are powerful beings of knowledge and wisdom and nobody else can give that to you besides the universe and the most high. So again, Again, I cannot tell you to go read this verse or to go burn this candle or to go say these words under this moon phase because it's never that simple. The only thing that pulled me out of my own dark place was God itself. And I have no other way to describe it besides like it being this, this sort of almost like magical experience because I promise you I was lost and I don't have time to really go into detail about that experience anyways today. Um, but what I can say is out of every awakening that I've ever had, that was hands down the most compelling spiritual experience I've ever went through because I know where I came from. I know how dark it was and I never went back there. And this is why I know that you guys are growing out of something that you're never going to return to just by seeing these cards and feeling their energy. I know that the spiritual awakening that is about to come into your life for you will change every fiber of your being being from spirit to flesh root to surface past to present everything for you will be rewritten because think about what an awakening is you have to be asleep in the dark absent of any light to experience any sort of illumination there cannot be any light without the dark right so for a revival to happen something needs to be rescued or to be brought back to life there's no other way to describe the spiritual awakening in store for you other than it being a completely spiritual experience with the high priestess here who isn't even a real human being she's not even physical she is a concept she is the personification of wisdom so think about it our intuition which is what the high priestess represents it's not a tangible thing it is etheric it's something we can't even put our fingers on and judgment again is the card that rules the process of souls having left their corporal bodies to be judged in the afterlife so this awakening is beyond any sort of human experience you could ever have which is why it will have such a profound effect on every single part of you and so i know that you may be here on this reading possibly especially especially if you were intuitively drawn to this pile especially if you were strongly drawn to this pile you may be yearning and looking for those answers but what i am telling you right now is that the the next spiritual awakening that you are due to have is going to have all of the answers that clears everything up for you um so the spiritual awakening is going to come through as just literal pure illumination also too for those of you that may feel as though you're being judged by a higher power for whatever reason this next spiritual awakening will actually show you um that this higher power, God, the universe, the most high, whatever it is that you want to call it, loves you to such a degree that we can't even 
conceptualize what that's like. Um, and so what you're going to end up realizing through that spiritual awakening is that, wow, like this higher power loves me so much that it doesn't judge me. It, it doesn't look at me and say, you're damned for this or you're wrong for that. But there is going to be such a profound and immense amount of love that you experiencing that will change um, a lot of how maybe you, you even see yourself, a lot of how you connect with spirit and the spiritual realm. So it'll even open up a lot more spiritual abilities for you as well with this high priestess in reverse over here. Let's start grabbing some oracle cards for you. So first we're going to look at some angel numbers to see if there's any sort of repeating numbers that you guys may start to see right before this next spiritual awakening. Okay, so we have here 11, 333, and then 606 underneath the deck. So 333 says a sign of protection. Exactly. You guys are protected. Your angels guide you to the right path. Like I was saying, you guys may feel a little lost right now. You are going to be guided to the right path. And sometimes it sounds cliche, but sometimes we get lost because we're being rerouted. And to us, it looks like we're lost, <laughs> um, but we're actually being rerouted to exactly where we're meant to be. And then we have here 11, sign of intuition. Intuition is the high priestess, like we were talking about. And it says you are learning to trust your gut feelings. So this is why you guys may feel a little lost right now, because you're, these angel numbers that you guys may see, these repeating numbers, it doesn't have to be 333 or 1111 or 606. You guys, you guys could keep saying 999 or 222. Whatever number that you keep seeing repeatedly though these are the messages that they're trying to remind you of is that you guys are learning to trust your gut feelings and this may be why you don't have the answers right now or like you can't rely on maybe the high priestess which represents intuition so if you guys get readings done or watch a lot of pick a card readings or you know get um um, horoscope readings done or anything like that they just may not be resonating with you right now they may feel like they don't offer you any answers right now and I have seen those phases happen with plenty of people they've even happened with me where I read tarot for myself and sometimes it's like <laughs> like I'll go to the cards for something and I'll be like what the hell are you talking about and it'll clear up later on but sometimes like that happens because the universe doesn't want us to know the answers. We're meant to kind of learn our way through whatever we're going through, as frustrating as that can be. So I get it if it's frustrating, but you guys may feel like you are lost right now to learn how to trust your gut feeling. So your high priestess abilities, your intuition is going to come back even stronger in the future throughout this spiritual, this next spiritual awakening. And then we have 606, sign to find gratitude. Be thankful for all the blessings in your life. This is another thing that you guys will be experiencing in the next spiritual awakening is a sense of strong gratitude. And you guys may have been drawn to another pile that gratitude kept coming up in. I won't say which one. You may have been. You don't have to be, but you may have been. Let's see what other signs you guys may notice right before your next spiritual awakening. So we have here evil eye protection again sign of protection you guys are protected you may feel lost right now you may even feel like i said some of you guys you may even feel abandoned by the spiritual realm you are not you are so protected and sometimes they're not many times they're not allowed to interfere with our path for a reason sometimes they will cause some interferences to literally stop us and protect us from something um, or they will block us from something um, to help us kind of avoid some sort of unnecessary tragedy or or accidents or you know some sort of um, negativity but you guys are so protected so you guys may be seeing a lot of evil eyes right now you may just be seeing a lot of symbols right now that remind you of protection or feel protected you may even be if you have any sort of like evil eye jewelry or something like that you may be drawn to wearing it right now there may be certain crystals that you guys keep on your body right now just to just because it makes you feel better and so this is just um you guys will be seeing a lot of signs regarding protection and maybe even evil eyes that you start seeing a lot right before your next spiritual awakening and then we have here mirror reflections so you guys may even notice a lot of different things that reflect um in your environment around you so like we have here a crystal ball so it doesn't just have to be like a mirror or something like that but you guys may just notice like a lot of mirrors or things that reflect um you guys may be seeing yourself in like a lot of different ref reflections or something like that lately and these will also be another sign here that you guys are about to enter into your next spiritual awakening and also i find it interesting with mirror and reflection that anytime we look in the mirror we're seeing ourselves right so we're able to reflect on ourselves so you guys may even 
get the opportunity to reflect on yourself, to look at yourself, to take, to stop, take a breather, to take a break and to look back on where you have come from, to reflect on your past. And you guys may notice that happen right before your next spiritual awakening. And as well as too, like what I was talking about earlier, I don't believe that anybody has the answers besides you because I believe that we are all powerful. And so I feel as though too, mirror reflection here is also saying you guys are going to keep getting these reminders over and over and over again, right before your next spiritual awakening, that you have all the answers that you can trust your gut feelings. Like it says here, sign of intuition and um, protection over here coming out twice. Let's see what themes your next spiritual awakening may revolve around. Oh, we have your loneliness. I know that I am never alone. You guys may feel very lonely right now. Like I was saying, you guys may feel um, abandoned or neglected by the spiritual realm or even people in your life. So this is going to be a theme that your next spiritual awakening actually helps clear up for you guys that wherever you felt lonely, you end up coming into realizing I know that I'm never alone, actually. Even when I feel alone, I'm abs that's when the spiritual realm comes even closer to us. And sometimes, again, our intuition is just cut off from that um, because it's like we are we're going through some exactly underneath the deck. We're going through some sort of growth at the moment. We're going through some sort of experience that is helping us grow. It's helping us expand our conscious. It's helping us evolve. And like it says here, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. We can't necessarily expand that if we don't go through things on our own. There's a reason why in school we take tests on our own, right? We take exams on our own. <laughs> like we don't, we're not allowed a buddy system when it comes to taking tests and examinations because we need to be able to get through the curriculum on our own. And we need to be able to, you know, pass those tests on our own. It's the same exact thing when we were going through different spiritual awakenings. Let's see what other realizations you may have throughout this next spiritual awakening. Okay, we have here Inspire, Peppermint, and underneath the deck, we have Jasmine, Passion. So Peppermint Inspire says, Trigger Statement, I am stuck. This is that Judgment and High Priestess in Reverse. True Statement, I am filled with possibility. Allow yourself to float up above any thoughts or emotions and see what is needed for you to process them and to move forward. So you guys will be realizing that um, your thoughts have stopped a lot for you or that maybe your thoughts have gotten in the way, maybe in certain experiences or past situations, or that your thoughts have kept you from um, moving through certain experiences or maybe even this next spiritual awakening. You may realize like, wow, I kind of control the spiritual awakening through the thoughts that I think. If I think that I'm progressing, if I think that I'm getting somewhere, I will. I'm going to see myself process things and move forward. And then we have here Jasmine, the card passion trigger statement. I am scared. True statement. When I am vulnerable, I am at my strongest. Like I was saying, when we're lost is actually when or when we feel alone is actually when we are um, surrounded the most by different spiritual presences in our lives. And it says reconnect with your feminine energy and pursue something that ignites your fire. Open the gates of your fortress and explore. So you guys may even um, during the spiritual awakening. Awakening, you guys may definitely be getting super, super close to your own feminine energy. And feminine energy just has everything to do with the sacral chakra and emotions and the soul and how we are, um, how fluid we are able to be in terms of moving and flowing throughout our own life and life experiences. So you guys may notice uh, throughout this next spiritual awakening that it awakens a lot of passions for you because you guys may go through something. You may be going through something right now that is quite scary for you where maybe you feel afraid. And as you work your way through that, it may inspire you and ignite because we have the card of inspire and the card of passion. So some sort of passion is going to be inspired within you throughout this next spiritual awakening for sure. And then a card from your inner child, because I believe every spiritual awakening that we go through just reconnects us to our inner child and the things that we already knew coming into this life. Okay, and so the two cards that we have for you is it's okay to be misunderstood. Like I was saying, I actually mentioned that with you guys as high priestess in reverse when we were just looking at your tarot cards. Some of you guys, you may feel misjudged, prejudged, misunderstood right now. And your inner child is actually saying as a message to you, it's okay to feel that way. And then underneath the deck, we have you are worthy. Okay, so pra and practice freedom here. So practice freedom says judgments that have been placed upon us by ourselves or by others can shackle us, stealing our joy and will to live. 
take time to remove these judgments, writing down what you have. And we have judgment in reverse. I forgot about that. Um, writing down uh, what you have believed in the past to be true. Do not let these judgments define you. Release personal mistakes and criticism. Practicing forgiveness with yourself. Very powerful message from your inner child. Then we also have here, it is okay to be misunderstood. We all experience life through our personal lens of fears, desires, and pains, which can lead to miscommunication and misunderstandings. If you are currently in the situation, remember that being misunderstood is not a reflection of your worth, but a re but a result of being human. You are complete regardless of how others perceive you. Yeah, exactly. With your high priestess in reverse over here. And then underneath the deck, we have you are worthy. It is now time to practice speaking the words that you have always longed to hear to yourself. Find a mirror, just like mirror reflection down here. Find a mirror and get comfortable. Look deep into your eyes and proceed to give yourself what you wish others had given you, particularly as a child. It may feel awkward, but stick with it as there is much healing in this practice. Let's see what is being... Let's see what is being healed for you in your next spiritual awakening. We have here letting go and underneath the deck creativity. And that could be what this inspire card is talking about over here in passion. Letting go says letting go of a person or situation can be a challenge at times. What's at stake is not just the relationship or situation. It is the attachment that we had for it. The hopes, the dreams, the expectations, many relationships in long past their natural ending point. One or both people hung hunk on hoping things would change they invested so much time because without that person or job or relationship their future loomed up as one big blank screen yeah this is that high priestess in reverse judgment in reverse for many this is too scary to bear just like i'm scared over here jasmine um passion card however by letting go we create a space for a person or situation that will resonate with us where we are now start looking at your expectations try not to have any this will enable you to live in the moment and be mindful in the present to be able to gracefully release from a situation is a lesson for all of us and then a final message from your next spiritual awakening We have the law of intention flipped out on top. So I'll read this one. Give up complaining. Then we have the law of individualization. Shine your unique bright shine your unique light bright and then we have the law of pure potential open your mind to all possibilities and allow yourself to receive everything i think this was underneath the deck for another pile as well and the universal law of intention give up complaining says by drawing this card your higher self desires for you to stop complaining what you place your attention upon is what will expand your life this is that high priestess in reverse judgment in reverse and it says you're being guided to no longer give energy to things that you do not want and begin giving your energy to the things that you do want the universe is guiding you to go within and get clarity on what your authentic motives are journal and action says go on a complaint free diet for a day write down 100 things that you are grateful for today and the law of individualization says you are the individualization of spirit by drawing this card it, it is a reminder to embrace yourself exactly as you are let go of trying to be what the culture has told you to be let go of looking for validation and confirmation from people in your life you are a trendsetter a visionary a unique divine individual the world is ready for you to take the lead the universe is ready to reflect your shining light just like reflection with mirror card down here journal and action says place both hands over your heart and ask for your inner intuition just like sign of intuition 11 and the high priestess um, ask for your inner intuition to guide you in birthing your highest expression ask yourself what is the best and highest use of my energy in this lifetime yeah some of you guys you may definitely be a light worker or resonate with that but pile three this is all that i am seeing for you guys thank you for tuning in let me take this time to thank your guides my guides are higher self and amazing spirit for these messages hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon and until next time please stay safe healthy blessed and keep conquering the world Bye, you guys. Pile four, welcome to your reading. So you're starting off with your tarot cards to check out what your next spiritual awakening will be all about. So the card on the left will be showing me what you are experiencing in your life right now that is leading you to your next spiritual awakening. And the card on the right will be providing some additional context as well as even some messages from the higher realms in order to help you through this next spiritual awakening. Then we'll pull some additional oracle cards later on. So starting off with your tarot cards we have here the eight of cups in reverse
and then the two of pentacles also in reverse so to forgive or not to forgive pile four you may be trying to figure out the next best move for you in terms of forgiving something or someone and allowing them back into your life with the eight of cups in reverse and i say this because the eight of cups upright is the card of discontinuation like he closes down the shop that is his heart or emotional connection to something or someone and he doesn't even do it out of like animosity he you know he loves something enough to let it go in other words and return it to source by giving these cups back and walking away with nothing it's like he's saying i fought the good fight and now it's over granted it leads him to the happiest moments of his life in the nine and then the ten of cups but he doesn't know that that is in store for him um when he gives up all these these eight cups and the eight of cups so he walks away with an emptiness but he knows he has to in reverse the eight of cups talks about something that we left behind with the intention to leave it behind in the past because holding on to something became toxic and unhealthy for us and maybe we were afraid um, in the past of letting this go because it's like I don't know if I'm going to find anything close to this even though this isn't making me happy anymore I don't know if I'm always going to live with this emptiness so sometimes we'll try to hold on to something even though we know we need to let it go when the eight of cups shows up in reverse and because it's in reverse this could be saying at some point in the future we end up coming back or these cups end up finding us again and over here with the two of pentacles this is the card of like juggling or maneuvering and as you can see when it's upright he's holding the left pinnacle higher than the right pinnacle and in reverse those positions change meaning that there's like a reversal of priorities so the next spiritual awakening for you guys um for you pile four has everything to do with time and i just heard the heart wants what it wants so some of you in this pile may learn to accept or surrender to the part of you or your heart that says yeah maybe this or that happened in the past but i miss this person and i want to forgive or move on or i want them in my life or i miss the situation or i miss this job or i miss that community or i miss that location or i miss my family or whatever it may be maybe you miss something from your past that you really want to let back in for others of you there's a very big decision that will initiate your spiritual awakening and this crossroads that you find yourself at will completely flip your priorities on its head where for example i'm sure many of you have experienced something similar to this but you know how there's certain chapters in our life where our highest priority is just peace and our state of mind just protecting our mental health so we do whatever we have to do we sacrifice whatever we have to let go of whoever we need to let go of to have that peace and to have that that you know to protect our mental health even if it means being alone with the eight of cups over here the peace becomes so important that it overshadows the emptiness of walking away from something or someone that we used to love and that we want to make it work with and then later on in life that priority may totally switch with time where we realize hey you know i'm getting older they're getting older i have a family now or i'm at a totally different place in my life now where they just don't have the same power over me anymore and i feel like it's actually important to forgive or to have my you know mother or father or sibling back in my life for just for an example um but it's like sometimes those priorities shift where we go from i need peace to i have found so much peace now that i have a whole different perspective and i feel it's important to let this back in at my at this point in time in my life so i feel like your next spiritual awakening pile four is going to lead you to this place where you don't have to be alone um, to have peace anymore in your life so you may be making amends with someone from your past you guys may start like working to get to a better place because it is worth it maybe you want your kids to see you get along or your parents or maybe you're simply just doing it for you and the spiritual awakening is everything to do with the passing of time and powerful impactful healing taking place in several areas with many situations so some of you i just heard too will be led back home i don't know if that is literal or metaphorical but you may find yourself back in a place that you left a long time ago and you may have said i'll never go back i'm done but something isn't done with you something is coming back together to be whole pile for and you may realize right before your next spiritual awakening or throughout your next spiritual awakening you may realize like 
this is kind of missing from my life and I am ready to let something in or let something back in to feel that sense of wholeness. And it will be like a brand new kind of relationship or connection, whether this is with another person or another situation. Like for example, you could be going back to an old job and it's like a, it's like a brand new job because it's like, it's a totally different experience. So whatever to, if you allow something back in from the past, it's going to be like a whole new experience. This could just be you guys just letting new things in in general that maybe you said like I'll never date again because of my last relationship this could be you guys meeting somebody brand new where it's like I do actually feel like I'm missing love in my life or missing companionship in my life and you guys are more open now to allowing that back in as you're going through your next spiritual awakening so let's start grabbing some oracle cards for you just to check out I just want to see if there's any sort of um Repeating numbers that you guys keep seeing, some angel numbers. Let's see what they could mean for you. So we have here 8-8, eight, eight, and this is a sign of enlightenment. And then we have 10-10 ten, ten underneath the deck, sign of a new path awaits. Yeah, exactly. Something's going to feel like a brand new path or a brand new experience. But it says sign of enlightenment, 8-8, eight, eight, you have achieved wisdom and find success. Exactly. You guys have achieved wisdom with this eight of cups situation by walking away from something in the past. You definitely left something alone in the past, as difficult as it may have been, especially if it was a, like an on and off, like reoccurring situation. You guys left something in the past. And now now it's like you just you may be open to it again and it may be kind of shocking for you a little bit and then we have here 10 10 sign of a new path awaits let your soul grow and trust in new beginnings exactly trust in the fact that this is a new beginning even if it's something from your past that you're allowing back in um trust in new beginnings so you guys don't have to be seeing 10 10 and 8 8 you guys could be seeing repeating ones or repeating 12s you could be seeing any sort of repeating numbers um but i just wanted to pull some cards as to um getting some messages as to what these repeating numbers that you may be seeing right before your next spiritual awakening what these repeating numbers actually mean for you personally so this is talking about for you guys whatever repeating numbers that you end up seeing whether it's 10 10 and, and repeating eights or not um, you guys have achieved wisdom and will find success as you allow your soul to grow and trust in new beginnings because there is a new path for you guys let's see some other signs that you guys may see right before your next spiritual awakening we have bullseye focus but i'm going to keep shuffling because it didn't actually turn all the way around okay so we have here a cowrie shell abundance and then underneath the deck mountains obstacles so you guys may notice um you may notice a lot of cowrie shells you may notice like a lot of just shells in general like stuff you would see or find on the beach you guys may actually find a shell or a cowrie shell specifically that you feel very drawn to and this could be a sign that your spiritual your next spiritual awakening is right around the corner and is about to happen you guys could find an abundance of something an abundance of friends an abundance of job opportunities an abundance of of um apologies you could find an abundance of anything so it's going to be something that comes to you in multiples or something that keeps happening happening back to back to back where you notice like okay this keeps happening or i keep stumbling upon something or i keep finding something i keep thinking about something and it's going to be a sure sign that your next spiritual awakening is about to happen extremely soon so and also to just an abundance so this could be a really great opportunity that comes into you to you guys's lives and blesses you with abundance like i said this eight of cups is the card of like emptiness but he doesn't know that he's going to be led into the nine and then the ten of cups, which is like it's more than he could have ever even imagined. So you guys may stumble into something. It could have to do with finances or relationships or love or friendships or something in your own personal life where it's just like there is an abundance of something that you guys stumble um, into. And that's going to be another sign as well that your spirit, your next spiritual awakening is right around the corner. And then with mountains obstacles there may be a few um obstacles that you guys run into you guys may be seeing a lot of mountains a lot of imagery of mountains um that you guys may notice right before your next spiritual awakening and then with obstacles over here i feel as though there could be just some um inconveniences that's what this feels like with obstacles over here it kind of feels like there could be some sort of inconvenience that happens with you guys especially um if you guys are coming into a lot of abundance or right before you come into an abundance of something you may notice some sort of an obstacle so like let's just say for instance that you guys receive like a lot of apologies from somebody in your life from somebody in your past with the eight of cups in reverse right you guys may notice that 
they end up saying to you, like, I tried to call you or I tried to message you, but the messages weren't going through. There was like obstacles in the way of them trying to deliver an apology to you. Or there could have been an obstacle in the way of some sort of new opportunity or abundance trying to come into your life or like a new financial opportunity or a new profession or something trying to come into your life. You may notice them actually say to you, we tried to reach out or, you know, X, Y, and Z happened. So there's going to be a few obstacles or whatever that may happen. But I feel as though the obstacles is going to come after the abundance where you're going to sort of get that confirmation of like of like oh wow they actually tried to reach out to me they were trying to get my attention and something just kept getting in the way and again this is going to be another sign that boom your next spiritual awakening right around the corner let's see what sort of themes your next spiritual awakening may be all about We have your service. I feel good when I can help others. And then underneath the deck here, we have death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings, like with this eight of cups here. And there's been a lot of messages in today's reading about you guys' next spiritual awakening in terms of endings turning into new beginnings. It just kind of keeps coming up in a few piles so far now um but we have here service and death so you guys as next spiritual awakening the main theme is going to be all about service you guys even helping other people in some way or you guys feeling very good you guys noticing that you get a lot of fulfillment and a lot of joy whenever you help other people you may feel as though you get a sense of relief when you are reaching out or helping other people or doing what you can you guys may feel as though there is something that you need to do you need to reach out and help someone else right now um, at a particular point in time in your life during your spirit, your next spiritual awakening, because again, these two cards are showing the themes that will be very present in your next spiritual awakening. So you guys may feel as though it's time for me to be of service throughout your next spiritual awakening. And your, so your next spiritual awakening, it may be if you guys are even spiritually gifted um, or whatever talent you have, actually, whether it's in the spiritual, you know, the spiritual spirituality or not. You guys may notice that you are ready to go into service. So you guys may even be um, thinking about like starting a business or something along those lines or getting into maybe like a different profession. There may be a couple of obstacles that pop up with that um, because that is going to you guys being of surface of service to other people, offering your services, whatever those may be, will be happening a lot throughout your next spiritual awakening. And it'll kind of segue you into this new beginning. Like it says over here, let your soul grow and trust in new beginnings with 1010, a sign of new paths away. And then um, and also 88 eight here says it talks about finding success. And then with death, it says I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. And this is that eight of cups in reverse. This is totally talking about that eight of cups in reverse. And even this mountains obstacles card right here, I feel as though death may be talking about that. There's a couple of obstacles or there may be some obstacles that actually look like an ending, but that obstacle may actually, um, it may eventually kind of clear, clear up. So you're able to move forward into some sort of a new beginning because like it says over here let your soul grow and trust in new beginnings sign of a new path awaits with 1010 10. so this next spiritual awakening for you will have everything to do with death and in, and in other words death just represents a lot of change a lot of transformations and the transformation is when something ends in order to give way to new life, in order to give way into a new beginning. So this is a lot of what you guys are going to be seeing throughout your next spiritual awakening here is a new path opening up for you guys. Let's see what realizations you guys may have during your next spiritual awakening. Okay, so we have here metabolic self-worth and then cilantro letting go and underneath the deck we have frankincense enlightened so metabolic self-worth says trigger statement i am disgusting true statement i am a miracle please be gentle and love yourself provide your body mind with what it truly needs to carry you on your journey yes you guys need to be sensitive and um, gentle with yourself right now because you are being carried onto a brand new journey where a new path is opening up for you guys in terms of somewhere that you may have left behind before with this eight of cups in reverse as we were talking about with your entire reading when we were just looking at your tarot cards something that you may have left behind in the past and maybe trying to come back into your life to create a new opportunity for a, a new beginning and so this is why you guys are going to need to be gentle with yourself right now and give a lot of love to yourself so um this really helps to build your self-worth 
so that you guys know that I deserve happiness. I deserve a new beginning because you may have sort of sometimes the eight of cups can kind of condition us into feeling as though I'm always just going to leave things behind. I'm always going to be disappointed. It'll help you guys realize that you do deserve a new beginning and you do deserve whatever it is that you gave up in the past with the eight of cups. Then we have cilantro, the card of letting go trigger statement. This is not the way it is supposed to be. Yeah, this is that eight of cups. True statement. I am free. Lift your burdens and allow the divine to free you from them. Allow yourself to be cleansed of anything that is weighing you down. This this is why you guys had to leave in the past with this eight of cups over here because something was weighing you down and the fact that you let it go is the reason why it's going to find you in a brand new form or in a new path or in a new um, sort of experience then we have frankincense underneath the deck enlightened trigger statement i'm alone so some of you guys you may even feel alone right now true statement i am one with all that is dear child you are safe and loved as you continue on your journey of self-exploration so you guys are loved and you guys are on a journey right now of self-exploration and just realizing who you are, realizing what you deserve, realizing your self-worth, realizing that there's certain things that you need to let go and realizing that there's certain things that you need to open yourself up to in terms of these new beginnings coming in and being able to trust in these new beginnings and finding success as well. Let's grab a message from your inner child because I believe with spiritual awakenings, they help enlighten us to things that we already knew or they help remind us of things that we already came into this life knowing and we may have just forgotten it. So that's why I want to pull a card from our inner child. So we have here gratitude brings abundance and underneath the deck become aware. So um, gratitude brings abundance says the act of gratefulness is a door that leads into abundance of spirit and heart allowing us to more deeply enjoy this life that we live set aside set aside time today to remember all that you have to be thankful for inviting your feelings of gratitude to overflow every part of your being with their dazzling warmth and light so gratitude brings abundance and you and this is another thing that the eight of cups ends up realizing is that like i said he doesn't walk away from these cups with any sort of animosity you know maybe he's grieving a little bit but he's kind of learned not to grieve in a way and because he is able to connect to gratitude even after uh, dealing with this loss and dealing with walking away from these eight cups that is why he comes into so much fulfillment in the nine and the ten of cups and then we have underneath the deck become aware create space today to connect with your body find a comfortable place and close your eyes bringing your awareness to your physical form how does it feel what does it speak to you do hidden emotions reside within after you've connected with your body ask yourself what your body needs in this moment so these are some powerful messages or reminders from your inner child to become aware by connecting to your body and becoming aware just basically is about you know becoming mindful and present in the moment so let's see what this next spiritual awakening is going to heal for you in your life so we have here integration and also ancient wisdom underneath the deck integration here says we are a sum of all our experiences in this and other lives we all bring forward a wealth of knowledge talents and wisdom one of the challenges is in remembering who we are we are bombarded every day in every way with messages on who we should be what we should do and what we should wear how we should live these messages coming from the media society our family and friends and even strangers can drown out who we are really meant to be who we have grown into lifetime after lifetime find some quiet moments in your day to identify and start a relationship with that small strong voice inside of you pretty soon you won't hear the other messages this kind of sounds like your self-worth card over here and even letting go and it says um many times in your interactions with others you hear that small voice that tells you something is not right your logical mind tells you to stop it nothing is wrong stop being silly dramatic or overreacting you may ignore your inner voice in a quest to fit in to be loved or admired you do not realize that your inner voice is warning you that the other person's energy is not matching their words or actions listen to your instincts about the situation or person this is totally talking about mountains obstacles and this eight of cups in reverse should you let something or someone back in or should you move forward with some sort of a new beginning does it feel right for you in other words and really trusting yourself like this inner child message here wanted to remind you of to become aware so you can listen to your body so you can listen to those sensations do the vibes feel good or do they feel off 
If they feel off, stay away from it. If they feel good, go for it. Our vibes kind of simplifies everything for us. And then ancient wisdom says nature is the perfect place to center yourself and ground out any excessive noise in your head. In nature, all the secrets of the universe are held from the fiercest energy of the raging sea in a storm to the nurturing and loving energy of a hundred year old grove of trees. Get out in nature and listen to what she has to tell you. There's much to learn from nature. Trees just want to be trees. They are not trying to be boulders. Deer are just deer. They accept that wolves are wolves. They know no other way. They do not try to get an extreme makeover to become a bear. This energy vibration can be so different than the human experience. It is pure love, non-judgment, and acceptance. When you tap into the ancient wisdom of the natural world, you find peace within yourselves. You get to know thyself like the self-esteem card or the self-worth card over here. By drawing this card, you are being asked to come to peace with who you are and what you have to offer the situation. And a final message from your spiritual, your next spiritual awakening. Okay, so we have the law of increase. You were born for greatness. Then we have the law of time. You have the ability to bend time with the power of perception. And then underneath the deck, we have the law of allowing. Stop trying to fix, change, or control anyone. And the law of time says, upon pulling this card, you are deemed the anointed one. It is up to you to make the declaration of who you desire to be and what you desire to experience in this lifetime. Sounds a lot like, um, I think it was integration. It says, remember, this is not a dress rehearsal. Make the most of every moment. This is the universe asking for your order. Rise to the occasion and become the person you have always desired to be. This sounds exactly like I think integration was talking about you guys honoring your own self. Um, and it sounds like self-worth over here too. And then we have journal and action. Every time you notice yourself not being present, take 10 deep and slow breaths. Journal about what you experience. And the law of increase, awaken the oracle within says, this is a divine sign for you to stop putting your energy into things that drain your energy. Yeah, eight of cups and even this uh, two of pentacles in reverse. It says it is time to pivot and launch into the life of your dreams. Focus on that which you wish to expand. Give thanks and praise every penny that you have, every friend that you have, and every ounce of energy within yourselves. Align with people who are like-minded and witness the miracles. This also sounds like gratitude brings abundance over here too. And journal and action says invest in your self-development and self-growth just like self-worth give your energy time and money towards the expanding of your consciousness and pile four this is all that i'm saying for you guys thank you for tuning in let me take this time to thank your guides my guides our higher self and amazing spirit for these messages hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon and until next time stay safe healthy blessed and keep conquering the world bye guys